So Pisces, one of the main theme that is coming through for you is um, basically stealing up the way you communicate. And what I mean by that is, as a water sign, you are very, very sympathetic when it comes to other people, and especially coming to the aid of other people, or um, lending a sympathetic ear to people's problems and allowing them to vent and providing emotional comfort and support for other people. Um, the negative aspect of this is basically, um, you know, playing martyr and also putting yourselves in contact with people who are not good for you, mainly because um, you are sympathetic and you are very, very empathic as well. And you tend to soak in, you know, negative energies coming through from negative people around you. So when I mention stealing up the way you communicate, I do feel that with the Page of Swords and the King of Swords here, it's, um, I'm reading this as an energy that is going to, um, it's internal to you. So this is something that you need to channel in order for you to grab, to, to, um, be able to successfully navigate this month. And I do feel that, you know, first of all, putting your guard up, guard yourself against people who might, you know, um, attack you or who might play the, the guilt trip and get you to do what they want at the same time. It's also an energy in which you are a little bit more discriminate and you are going to, you know, um, exhibit the, the characteristics or the qualities of somebody who's very, like, um, who's very logical, rational, who is very strong-minded, but there's still that room for sympathy, you know, true sympathy, like um, lending out help and support and emotional nurturance for the people who actually need it, rather than um, giving yourself, I guess, indiscriminately. You're, you are going to have to uh, toughen up the way you communicate with other people, okay, and fight for the things that you deserve, because um, coming through in the middle of this spread, we have a very powerful card here. Um, we have four major arcana cards. One of them is in the reverse position, but I do feel there is going to be a lot of momentum, a lot of traction, a lot of, like, gaining ground, and um, with the process of, like, um, breaking into new grounds, and expanding yourself in, in your social circle, I do feel that this is a part of, um, you know, progression and also expansion. You are going to encounter opposition, and um, people are not always going to be, when they see that you are um, hitting, you know, like a lot of success and making a lot of um, swift movement and changes in your life, I do feel that other people are going to... Um, pull you, try to pull you back down and trying to um, make you stoop to their level and they don't really want to let you go. So there's a clinginess when it comes to the people that you're interacting with and I do feel that, you know, the, the guilt trip might come out and you, you would feel like really bad about leaving unhealthy situations, mainly because um, people would, you know, turn on the waterworks, they would um, say how much they need you and, and so forth. And that usually make you very weak in the knees, and it uh, weakens your resolve. So you're going to have to channel the energy here of this King of Swords, which is somebody who is very, very objective, very strong-minded. He is strong in his thinking, and he knows what he's doing. So, you know, channel this energy in order to uh, strengthen what it is that you believe in, so that you don't get weak around the knees when you're dealing with other people who might not have your best interests at heart, okay? So that's the major thing coming through. Um, s strengthening your communication style and doing so in a way that is a lot more objective, that is a lot more deliberate to get your point across, whatever it is. And um, that is the only way that I'm sensing here. You know, you have to defend yourself and you have to do it in a way that is very objective, okay? So it's sort of like um, when you interact with somebody that you've dealt with on an extensive basis, and especially when it comes to somebody who knows exactly how to push your buttons, they are going to push your buttons to get an emotional response out of you. And um, it's like not fighting fair, but that's just, you know, their default mode of behavior. And um, for this month, in order to get a resolution, in order for the fighting to stop or to just seize once and for all, 
you are going to have to change your technique in terms of, you know, fighting with this person. So this could basically mean, you know, drawing boundaries, like drawing your line in the sand and saying, you know, I'm done with this. I don't want to have multiple run-ins and argue over the same topics with you because you don't fight fair. You can do that. Or you can take a, a different approach, which, which is that um, we are going to have an agenda. When you need to discuss something, these are the confines of what we are able to discuss. These are hot topic buttons that we are not going to touch upon. So you have to have clear guidelines with this other person that you're dealing with on what it is that you, you will or will not discuss, will not bring up into, in like a discussion with another person because they're hot button topics, you know? So um, being a little bit more objective and a, a little more, I would say like um, efficient with your time spent with this other person that you're not going to, that you haven't seen eye to eye with, I feel that's in order, okay? And this is going to play out for a lot of you in a work environment, I'm feeling work environment and close interpersonal relationships. Um, I do feel an element of, um, let's see here. And so coworkers, first of all, and then in your, your romantic sector, in your romantic relationships, um, a lot of you might be dealing with an air sign this uh, week or this month, excuse me. And I do feel the energy of this air sign is going to permeate throughout the month because we have the King of Swords and the Page of Swords, which indicates as well that this is somebody that you've known for a long period of time, that you've seen you know, grow and progress over the years. So you do know one another pretty well and you know how to push each other's buttons. And in general, water and air signs do not communicate in the same way. And um, if anything, this air sign is going to demand that you are a little bit more logical. I mean, it, it's, it's a great energy because I do feel they're both in the upright position, which indicates to me that um, they are going to be the catalyst to help you move forward with some venture in your life or even to um, propel a relationship down a better path, okay? So the only thing is the communication styles are not going to be jiving too well with one another. So as a result of it, there are going to be hurt feelings. And this card does indicate, you know, words thrown about that can be hurtful. And you're kind of like, um, there's someone is going to be moping over um, the, the way words are exchanged and the way that words are used to hurt. But in this situation, I do feel that... Um, you know, like I mentioned, stealing up your communication style. This person is not going to communicate the same way that you do. You are very sympathetic, but this person is, is taking a more no-nonsense approach, and they're very direct and um, confrontational even, but I don't feel they're being bullish about it because that would be more of an energy of like a, a fire sign in the reverse position. This person is actually very systematic, and they're trying to get you to tell stories or to relay events in a, in a more like rational and, and in a way that makes more sense, like chronologically makes more sense, okay? So um, a little bit of a systematic approach to your social interactions will be required of you for this month in order for you to get the things that you want out of other people, in order for you to move projects along, and in order for you to get to the um, heart of situations, why conflict happen in your life and how to better deal with them in the future. So at the end of it, I do sense that through your extensive contact or communication with this um, potentially, this is also, you know, the card of uh, when I do like legal um, cases, this is also somebody like a prosecutor, a lawyer, a judge, and it's somebody who is trying to get at the truth. And um, you have a very strong, potent energy here. This is coming out as the King of Swords, which is somebody who doesn't really care about, you know, like, um, I would say that their main concern is objectivity and truth. So they're not going to bend the truth in order to project themselves in a better light nor will they, you know, um, tarnish or even hide the truth to make you look bad, okay? So this is not, this is not an ego type of game. This is more about adults 
a coming together to get at the truth. So it's a problem solving type of month and the main dilemma is that um, both sides have to curb their communication styles in order to work together as a unit to arrive at the truth. So the element of truth is going to be very vital for, um, for you this week, for a lot of you. Um, I do feel communication is going to be like a catalyst for changes through this month and um, communicate, you must communicate in a way that is, you know, concise, accurate, and um, coming from a place of, you know, wanting to get at higher truths in life rather than trying to, um, I guess, enable other people or covering up for other people's shortcomings, okay? So that is going to be required of you. I do feel in general that, um, you know, you, you are very kind people. So... These two cards can be a little bit problematic in that, um, so let me give you an example. So in a work in environment, for example, someone is kind of like slacking off on the job and they're, um, they're clocking in when they actually didn't even show up to work that day, for example. And you're feeling like, you know, you rationalize it and you're just like, oh, they have two kids and they were sick at home with the, one of the child, one of their kids. And, you know, they're not bad people and it's a big company. No one will notice that discrepancy in, you know, that one hour or one day salary. So I'm just going to turn a blind eye. So that's the attitude that you're taking. And then you get yourself in a situation where your supervisor calls you into the office and they tell, ask you, like, um, did you see so-and-so come in on, you know, such date and you get yourself into a stuck dilemma. It's like an ethical dilemma on your end which is, you know, do I cover for him or her or do I tell the truth? And you're making it into an ethical dilemma when it doesn't have to be. So my, for example, I'm sensing here that the other person didn't ask you to lie for them. Okay. And then on top of that, as your, it's your personal, like, um, sense of moral integrity within yourself, to be honest. So don't make this into like, self-martyr I, I guess I like that would be the the strong message coming through because more than anything you want to be straightforward and honest and especially if your supervisor is calling you in then you want to just be honest and just say that oh I don't remember I saw that person there on that date okay and trust that the truth is enough and you can absolve yourself of your responsibility in this situation so don't play the martyr don't take it on your, upon yourself to lie for this other person. First of all, they didn't ask you. And secondly, if, um, if the situation is between, you know, the other, that person and the supervisor, for example, um, it's best for you to stay out of it. Okay. So realizing, you know, once again, this whole concept of boundaries, you know, realizing where you end and the other person begins and knowing that everyone is kind of responsible to take care of themselves and they have to be smart about it if they want to, you know, um, one up the supervisor, they really have to cover their own basis and they have to be smart about it. Okay. So that's one way in which this energy can play out. So you might be called upon to cover for somebody that, um, you shouldn't have that it's just outside of your jurisdiction. It's outside of your moral radius. So don't take it upon yourself to do that. Okay. Um, another thing that is coming through, I do feel that, um, in general on the financial front, um, a lot of you might be contemplating a trip as well with this chariot card. And, um, you might be like, um, planning something right now. I don't feel it's going to happen for this month. I do feel like possibly, um, further down the, down the line. And this is, uh, seems to me like five, seven days type of trip where it's a little bit further away. Um, it's going to be fine actually. And I do sense that a lot of you might be, um, kind of tired with dealing with, you know, the, the minutia of the work situation. So you might just be wanting to get away, but, um, financially things are not yet in order for you to, um, to, to just leave on this trip just yet. There's a little bit of a financial shortage coming through, and this is also residual energy. And I mentioned earlier, residual energy is going to come through, uh, via the very first card out. 
So a lot of you might be dealing with a an earth sign as well. And um, if it's in a money or, or excuse me, if it's in a work environment or in a romantic environment, um, this person might be contemplating or might be trying to contact you when you have already moved on. OK, so they're kind of like um, he or she is kind of like here. And, and excuse me, an earth sign is a Virgo, a Taurus or a um, Capricorn. So this is somebody that is um, kind of like coming in on the tail end of it, knocking at your door and you've just moved on. So there's that energy here where you have basically sailed on physically, emotionally, mentally from this person from your past who might have caused a little bit of a, a uh, might have like um, made the relationship gone sour. And as a result, you are moving on with a stronger resolve in cutting off that person from the past. So I do feel this energy here is just like, you know, this must end so that I can begin anew with somebody else in my life, okay? So it's a very, very uh, good therapeutic type of energy, and it's healthy for you. You know, um, cut ties with the past, especially when the past has been troublesome in every way. And we know that when it comes to interpersonal relationships in general, um, we can't always say that, you know, one side is to blame. When you are involved with another person, things are not always going to go smoothly because we are independent free thinking entities and uh, especially when communication styles are very different it's hard for us to get along okay so the the energy that is playing out here is regardless of what happened regardless of what transpired this is somebody that can't be in your life for any reason you know, it could be their doing or your doing. You just don't want this energy in your life anymore. So it's important to just um, disengage from the conflict and move forward, okay? I do feel multiple attempts here are going to be required of you. First of all, there's going to be communication, a little bit of a jarring communication coming through from somebody from the past. And then it kind of sucks you in. So just be very mindful of how you handle old energies and old people trying to provoke you and trying to suck you into a situation and preventing you from leaving because obviously they know that you have tried to move on with your life and you're you're trying to get to a better frame of mind in which you are focusing on more abundant things in your life or even more things that are productive and they're still kind of stuck and stagnant and they don't really know where to turn. So they want to, you know, come in and re-engage with you in a verbal debate that leads nowhere, that is unproductive, it doesn't resolve anything. And it's something from your past that, that you've already moved on from. So you don't feel the need to get involved the second time around, okay? So multiple run-ins, I feel, is going to be... Um, coming through, you're going to be revisited by something from the past. And um, I do feel it might be related to finances. It might be like um, trying to get a um, salary negotiation in order, first of all, and um, not feeling as if you have the skills that that are needed, okay? But I can assure you that um, when you put your mind to it, you have the power of manifestation, which means that um, you are capable above and beyond, you know, like um, you have the capabilities to do the work. So don't stress out over it. Just fight for whatever it is that you believe and um, try to do it to the best of your abilities because at the end of the day, I do feel that um, you are going to be able to not only earn whatever it is that you set out to do, there are good news coming through, but I do feel that it is going to break you out of your shell. It is going to break you out of your mental prison in which you feel like, um, you know, life is not giving you enough. And so you, you become complacent and you accept only the things that are like scraps and pieces from people. You're not going to put up with that anymore. You are going to stand up for yourself and you are going to demand whatever it is that you deserve because ultimately you know that you're worth more, okay? So it is a really, really nice energy and um, it's a little bit combative, but I don't feel that, um, you know, the, the two cards that indicate conflict, first of all, the beginning of conflict and also the end, um, they're one, so it's in a playful, lighthearted way. They're not swords, okay? The only people yielding the swords are in the upright position. So it, it indicates to me, it's like um, a very strong 
executive um, position or somebody with um, power of execution. So because of it, they're able to move a lot of things forward. So you don't have anything to worry about because this ultimately does indicate the end of conflict, the end of a drawn out battle in which everyone you know, has things to lose and no one ends up winning here in this situation. So it's kind of like a conflict that leads nowhere and um, you don't want to be embroiled in that. So, you know, just let it go. All right. Um, I do feel for those of you who could potentially be dating like um, a, an earth sign, I do feel a little bit of a somber mood associated with this situation. If it's like in the work environment or if you are um, seeing somebody who is awaiting on like financial news, if you or your partner or um, somebody that you're seeing, somebody in your periphery that you're emotionally invested in. And this has to be, I, I feel like it's something that is coming through the last week of July. And you're awaiting a loan, you're awaiting like an offer or something like that. I do feel that um, this situation is going to get delayed, mainly because... Um, there are going to be multiple rounds of interviews or even like callbacks in order for you to um, state what it is exactly that you need the amount of money for or state what it is that you qualify for. So for this month, keep your head in the game, especially on the work front. And don't get distracted by, you know, other relationship aspects that are kind of troublesome, murky, and that have been going nowhere in the past. So that you can take care of things on the financial front and especially in the work arena, okay? So keep your head in the game. And I do feel that a, a, a very strong way of doing a very different energy is going to flow through for you where you are kind of like... Um, morphing from that page of cups somebody who's very like um who's very loving who's very kind-hearted who's always there to help other people and who have been trampled on in the past too like um who have been taken advantage of and you're transforming into you know from a page of cups into like a page of swords in which you're a lot more discriminate discerning and you're able to communicate a lot more effectively to actively attract the things that you want in order to demand what it is that you need and what you deserve as well, okay? So it is a very, very nice energy for you, uh, Pisces.